Okay, so I think maybe it's harder for me to try to think up a question each week than it is to actually answer the questions that are asked to me because I spend so much time thinking about my answers to questions sometimes that it's not, <laughs> I don't ever think about a question that I want to ask. Uh, but my question this week is, if you could go back in time and see any uh, any uh, performer at their, in their prime who would it be, you know, who would you go back and see, you know, uh, for me, it would probably be Poison, circa, like, 1989, 1988, or maybe Motley Crue, I don't know, one or the other, just because I saw those bands so much whenever I was younger, and I would like to go back now and just see how ridiculous they are, uh, given the, given a little time to realize just kind of how ridiculous they are, but I would really like to see them again, because, Man, I had so much fun at those concerts. But uh, anyway, that's my question. Uh, if you could go back and see any band or performer, who would you go back and see? So I got asked quite a few questions this week, which was crazy cool. Um, the first question I got asked was from uh, Sleepy Reader 666 If you could create an image book, what type or genre would it be? Well, I think that the one thing that Image could really, and I think they're going to do it this year, that the one thing that would be great for Image to do is superhero titles. I would really like to see Image come up with some superhero titles. And I know they've got like three or four or five or something like that superhero titles coming out this this year. Um, I'm really looking forward to uh, this uh, Black Cross, which looks pretty sweet. Also, there's some others that are coming out that are uh, going to have to do with uh, superheroes from Image this, week, this year. But that's, I think, something that I would like to see from Image. Because Image already does everything else so good. You know, it'd be hard to say that I want a, a sci-fi book or a horror book or anything from Image because they just already do that so good. Uh, Reader1717 asks, if you could kill off a superhero and they would stay dead, who would it be and why? I would kill the Flash. Uh, because Wolverine's already dead. Um, Wolverine will probably be back, so I mean, my, my default answer on killing a superhero will always be Wolverine, because I don't like Wolverine. But, if I had to kill somebody that is currently still alive, I would kill Flash, because I just don't like Flash. I've always thought he was kind of a corny hero. I don't really like his, uh, don't really like his rogue gallery. It's one of my least favorite. I like Mirror Master. He's alright. Um... But for the most part, I just, I can't stand Flash. And the 90s Flash series that was out just ruined it, put a horrible taste in my mouth, and I've just never really been able to recover from that. But of all the major superheroes, he's just somebody that I just, I, it's just silly to me. And I don't know why, because I like Kid Flash. Uh, I think I just don't like Barry Allen, because uh, honestly, it's just really bad incarnation of the Flash that I don't like. But anyway... Barry Allen could die. Uh, Derek Lucarelli asks, uh, "Do I like the art on Wolf Moon, being as he just is being as Jeremy Hahn destroyed uh, Batwoman?" And I don't. I, I partially agree with the end of what you're of what you said there, which is that I don't really think that it was Jeremy Jeremy Hahn's fault that the, I I never had a problem with the art in Batwoman. Um, I think that uh, Mark and Draco and uh, probably like DC Editorial, because I've read a lot of good stuff that Mark and Draco's done, and I hope he knocks it out of the park with the legendary Red Sonja. Uh, I'm really, really scared for that, but we'll see. Um, but I love Jeremy Hahn. Uh, one of the main reasons that I'm reading Wolf Moon is because of the fact that it's uh, Jeremy Hahn. Also because it's Colin Bunn, but that you've got Colin Bunn and Jeremy Hahn on the books, the reason I'm reading Wolf Moon. Um, you know, I like Jeremy Hahn's stuff that he did on Red Hood, and um, then he's penciled and inked on so many books that I like. Uh, uh, Scarecrow, uh, Scare Scarecrow Two-Face, Year One, which I really like. The Gotham City Sirens stuff that that I really liked, um, Batman and Robin, uh, for New 52 that I really liked, uh, the, um, I don't know, a lot of Batman, uh, 
streets of Gotham and different stuff that he's uh, done pencils and inks for that I really enjoyed. Uh, but I really like Jeremy Hines art all in all. Um, Marcy's Little Show asks, uh, you're writing an alien invasion story. Uh, what does the alien look like? Um, well, my alien would be like some kind of like nanite, like some kind of little machine that would be like microscopic. You wouldn't be able to see it. So whenever the humans very first uh, went into the ship, the nanites would just uh, invade their bodies and take them over and use them like puppets. Uh, and uh, the humans wouldn't be aware that the aliens really existed until it was too late. The aliens would just uh, spend time uh, gaining, you know, uh, like mining for information and stuff like that, taking it back to like a central source because that's what they do. They come onto planets and, you know, they go around gaining all, of, all the knowledge that they can and uh, overthrowing planets based upon uh, learning everything about us. Uh, gaining access to sensitive targets and this, that, and the other, and then they just uh, attack when they uh, when we just have no way to stop them. Uh, would be my alien invasion story. You also said something about that there weren't a whole lot of alien books out there, and there's not a lot of alien books out there. But uh, if you haven't read The Wake, um, Scott Snyder and Sean Murphy. Uh, I thought this was a pretty pretty good alien story. Uh, most people would probably say that you just need to read the first half of The Wake. Uh, but, I mean, I really enjoyed the whole series. Uh, the Wake just came out in trade. Uh, so, uh, that was pretty good. Um, Squitter by uh, Ben Templesmith, uh, which was a four-issue uh, four mini last year. Uh, also, I believe it's coming out in trade either this week or next week. Uh, one, I thought was a pretty good alien story. Uh, Deep State that's currently out by Justin Jordan uh, from Boom. Uh, I find really enjoyable. Um, Wild's End, a pretty good, uh, pretty good alien story. Um, the Woods, uh, pretty good uh, sci-fi alien story. Uh, I know that you read Mimetic, and uh, I thought it was a really good... Uh, a really good story um, but anyway um, that's my long answer to your question uh, and then Stacy Poole asked if uh, I could only grab from uh, one indie company who would it be and it seems like I just answered this question maybe it was a question on Mercy's Little, Mercy's Little, Mercy's Little Show Contest um, what indie publisher would you grab from or whatever um, I would grab from Boom because uh, I love the woods and I love Wild's End, and I love Deep State. Uh, I really liked Mimetic. Uh, I thought that this Cloak series was really, really good. Anybody that didn't read this, uh, there ought to be a trade coming out on this pretty soon, and I would suggest checking it out. Um, it's about a, uh, a spy who's a magician. Um, it was pretty freaking sweet. Um, I really like this first issue on Eternal. Hexed is one of my favorite series that I read each month. Uh, I can't highly recommend uh, Hexed enough. Uh, it's on issue 6 or 7 right now. I think it's on issue 7. So there should be a uh, trade coming out on Hexed within the next, uh, the next month or so. And uh, Boom usually has introductory prices like Image does on their trades. And I would highly suggest anybody out there uh, picking this hex stuff and giving it a try. Um, the Dan Murray's art on this hex series is just freaking amazing. And uh, I don't know, every time the hex comes up, I just sit and rant on it. So, But anyway, uh, Boom would definitely be my answer um, outside of Image because, I mean, I... It's been said before, but I mean, Image really is just one of the bigger companies now. So when it comes to more random publishers, uh, I probably I, I know I get more boom than I do any other any other company. So uh, anyway, uh, hope that answered everybody's questions. And uh, 
you know, uh, my question again this week was, if you could go back in time and see any uh, band performer in their prime, who would it be? And uh, as always, uh, leave me a comment and a question down below, and I'll get back to the question next week. Uh, also, I think I'm going to start, well, I always write down my questions, but I think this year that uh, I'm going to write down my questions throughout the year, and then um, at the end of the year, I'm going to go through and answer like my favorite question of the week, uh, which will probably just be a lot of Mercy's Little Show questions, uh, <laughs> a lot of Stacy Pool questions, because uh, Stacy also asks a lot of really good questions. But uh, anyway, get off here. Uh, sorry for such a long video uh, this time around.